Swerm here. I am the worst of rock and metal. We had the delivery person drop off a large brown box. That's usually a good day. So let's see what's inside our large brown box today. I don't have very good video equipment, so you only get to see the best part of me, which is not my face. So, I am the worst of rock and metal. I started out the worst of metal. Lately, they've been branching into rock a little bit. And I've got lots of two humbucker guitars. They are your metal guitars. They are awesome. They're great for making metal. Two humbuckers. They are great for making metal. Lately, I've been delving into the world of the worst of uh, rock. So, I bought myself a, uh, what did I get? A Squire Jazzmaster Tele Hybrid with two uh, single coils. Man, what a great guitar. I love it. So, I got myself another guitar that is not a metal guitar. Let's see what we got in the big brown box. There's another big brown box. Blew. Easy for me to say. Yeah, let's see how we're going to do this, kids. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Let me put him up here. Maybe. Possibly. Worst unboxing ever. Oh, there you go. And we'll make this guy go away. Without this one falling down, because that would be terrible. Oh my goodness, this is not smooth in any way, shape, or form. There we go. Ah. Big box be gone. So inside our big brown box, we have another big brown box. Man, it's big brown box day. Let's see what's inside the other big brown box. Styrofoam, cool. Me dropping stuff on the floor. Just as cool, I guess. Gravity still works. And inside, big brown box number two, we have a guitar case. It's good to see manufacturers shipping guitars and guitar cases. To me, it kind of, uh, pick up my razor knife so I don't step on it because I'm a dope. Manufacturers who ship guitars and guitar cases is a good thing to me. It says, hey, let's protect our equipment. So, we have a lovely black guitar case. Let's see, if I flip it around this way. Dun, dun, dun. You can see right here. Fender, it's not a quarter panel of a Trans Am, Leo Fender, and let's see if I can do this backwards, oh, one clatchy clatchy, two clatchy clatchies, and we've got a latchy latchy, so let's see what we got, actually I know what I got, I paid for the darn thing, ah, look at that. We got ourselves a Jazz Master. Very cool. Uh, this is a signature Jazz Master. Not a big fan of signature guitars, but I am a huge fan of maple fretboards and block inlays. So, this has a maple fretboard and block inlays. Very cool. And there she blows, Captain. We've got a Fender Jazz Master. Let's see if there's anything cool in any of our little things here. We got a tremolo bar. We got some case candy. Probably things they want me to fill out, send in. Da -da -da. Uh, it's nothing special. We got our trem bar. He's gonna pop inside here. We got a little pickup adjuster thingy in there. We'll get him out. So this was purchased from the good folks at Sweetwater. This was one of the demo guitars because I try to get demo guitars because I usually drop them and ding them up anyway because I'm not the most coordinated fellow on the planet. 
So if we take this bad boy out, very, very cool, very nice. I love block inlays, blonde boards. That's yeah, a cool looking gold color. A nice maple neck, made in Mexico. Uh, Troy Van Leeuwen, I think is the dude. This is uh, the uh, artist version thereof. Don't know who he is. I think I read he's a perfect circle or something. I don't know. I was never a huge Tool fan, so never got into him. But here we go, Jazzmaster. Looks nice. Uh, I think there's a little ding here on the uh, pick guard, and there's a little booger up here somewhere on the headstock. You know, things I'm not going to screw up anyway, because I am the worst of rock and metal. I'm also one of the most uncoordinated people on the planet. So... Let's go plug this bad boy in and see what kind of noise we can make. Hey folks, Worm here. I am the worst of all rock and metal. We already unboxed this bad boy. Now let's take a look and play her for a bit here. Um, here she is in all her glory. It is gold. It's got an awesome maple fretboard. I love maple fretboards. It's got big old black block inlays. Hard for me to say. Black block inlays. I do love black block inlays on maple boards. It's really the coolest thing ever. So, uh, first thing I got to say, a little disappointed with the good folks from Fender. They sent me a guitar with some horrible, horrible fret ends. These things are sharp. They might cut your little fingers. That's not good. Um, I was expecting a guitar of this caliber. Uh, it wasn't a crazy expensive, but it was far from being a cheap guitar to have much better fret work. Maybe good folks at Sweetwater also maybe would have caught it and done a little, uh, little end file filing on these bad boys. Um, I mean, it's, it's the dead of summer. I don't think it shrunk and expanded during shipping all that much. I mean, I've got a cheap, uh, $400 Squire that's got better fret work than this thing does. So, boo on you. Not very good fret work, but besides that, it's cool guitar. It's got a kind of a wide, thin feel. I got kind of a uh, crystal clean work in here. I got some different amps loaded up. We'll uh, take a little run through. Let's tune this bad boy up. Make sure it's uh, gonna be a happy guitar, because the only thing that makes my playing sound worse is when a guitar is out of tune. I already kind of suck at this game. I am the worst of rock and metal. Now that I have a jazz master, I can be the worst of jazz as well. So tuner's off, amp is on. This is uh, Ethereal Whisper. I like this one. I think this is a good one to test this out on. Um, this is Amp Hub. This is just the basic package that you get for a year for like a hundred bucks. It does have a ton of uh, amps to choose from. Maybe. Oh, here it goes. Right? They're all going to kind of look familiar. You've seen them all. Um, it does come with a bunch of presets as well. This is not the uh, the Tone Labs one, or Tone Hub, I think it is, where you get all these pre-done by uh, professional folks. These are just a bunch of ones they set up to make you feel good about playing guitar. So um, we have our Jazz Master. We have our ethereal whisper setting. Remember, this is not a high gain beast. This is not a metal guitar. This is a jazz master. I'm on the neck pickup and I think it sounds pretty good. Let me turn this up so I can hear some. That is the Ethereal Whisper. I think this same dude has one. I probably should have said that instead of go hunting for it. Is Glacial Mist. This one. This one I like. This one is one I thought I saved, but I guess I didn't. Uh, 
so that's the uh, the neck. We'll go to the middle. Still nice and chimey and singy. I am the worst of rock and metal. I will make many mistakes while going through this thing. Uh, we'll go up to the bridge to be a little more, uh, a little more trebly. So that is a quick run through the uh, the neck, the middle, the bridge. So. Jazzmaster, where we are right now, this little guy down. This is the lead section. If you crank them up, boop, we go from uh, from go back up to neck. Cause I like the neck on this thing a lot. <laughs> You go up to the rhythm section, your, your, your tone, your volume, your pickup selector, none of that stuff has any difference. It's got pretty much one sound. It's a little darker. Let's pick a, let's go to, let's go to this guy, a little cleaner. Actually, I don't like him at all. Where was the other one I had? How about Crystal Clean? There we go. So this is a... But if you go back to the, uh, to the other main lead one... Back to the rhythm. It's a darker sound. It, it's the rhythm sound. I guess it's going to hide behind the, the lead sound a little bit. Thus, rhythm. <clears throat> so, uh... back to the neck pickup. It's got a little more oomph to it. So uh, we got through some clean sounds. I was playing with this one the other day. I think it sounds pretty cool. It's the slow phase. It's kind of... cool now just because i am the worm i am the worst of rock and metal let's get a little more of a heavier sound nothing too crazy more of a rock and roll sound <laughs> got a good rock sound to it I wasn't gonna go here but let's go here anyway let's go find something that's kind of heavy 
I think I got a dual rectifier. This is kind of like a metal sound out of a non-metal guitar. I think it can do it. Let's give it for a little ride, shall we? <laughs> So that is my cool new Fender Jazz Master. It does really, really good, clean sounds. It breaks up pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure if I would use this for uh, a main metal guitar. I could use it as a secondary metal guitar underneath uh, another guitar. It's got a couple humbuckers that you know fatten up and make the sound a little bit different, make it cut through a little bit more. But all in all, really, really cool guitar. Only bad thing is these uh, fret ends. I could take care of that myself, but it's more work than I should have to do on a brand new guitar. So this is the Troy Van Leeuwen Signature Fender Jazz Master. Cool guitar. Have a grand day. Go make some music. Make some noise. I am the worm. Thank you, and have a great one.